Time now for another COVID-19 benefits information segment with our Fox News investigative reporter, Brendan Kirby. And Brenda, by now we know this story so well. Folks that are unemployed, but they can't get anybody to answer the phone at the Labor Department in Montgomery. But now you're telling us that they can have face-to-face -face meetings. What about all that? That's right, Byron, uh, but it involves driving to Montgomery. You'll have to blow the whole day, and there's no guarantee that your issue will be resolved. Still, for people struggling with un the unemployment problem, this might be the best option. The state rolled out the new appointment system at 5 p.m. on Friday, and before the weekend was over, availability had already been maxed out. Your next chance to schedule an appointment will be on Friday for the following week. You can find a link on your claim tracker. The Department of Labor says that it can accommodate 300 appointments a day, and you'll have a window beginning at either 8 a.m., 10 a.m., noon, or 2 p.m. at the Crump Community Center in Montgomery. Byron, you won't get to pick the time or the day that will be assigned to you. The state says to arrive uh, 15 minutes early and suggests that you bring a chair <laughs> and snacks because the wait likely is going to be long, as long as three or four hours. If you have a separation issue, this won't be able to help you and the state says that it can't promise to resolve other issues either. But if you have a free day, this might be an option. Pack a lunch. All right, Brendan, we've got this question from a woman who's been on unemployment since March, and she received a notification involving something called Alabama Training Extension. I'm thinking she could be getting some extra dollars here, huh? Yeah, that's right, Byron. She's going to be eligible for an extension of her unemployment benefits after she's exhausted the maximum number of weeks. This comes under a CARES Act program known as Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation, or PEUC. Because Alabama's insured unemployment rate exceeds 5.9%, people can get an additional 13 weeks. If the viewer has been on unemployment and has been filing her recertifications, then she doesn't have to do anything. This will all be automatic. If you aren't currently receiving unemployment or you haven't been recertifying for two weeks or more, then you'll need to file a new claim at www.labor.alabama.gov. If you're eligible for regular benefits, the state will start a new benefit year. If not, the state will determine if you qualify for extended benefits. And also one more thing, the claims that were filed after January January 1st might come with an opportunity for an additional five weeks under a training program, but that won't affect the eligibility for the PEUC one way or the other. Right. All right, Brendan Kirby, thanks so much. And by the way, Brendan will be back with us for Fox 10 News at 9 with more of your questions and answers that he's done and done his homework on is what I'm trying to say. And if you've got a question, just email him at brendan.kirby at fox10tv.com. He's going to try and get to every question he possibly can.